In this video, we'll shed some light on when array indexing produces a view and when it produces a copy. Say we have this 2D array, squid, and we index the array like this, where we use slices to pick out every row in the first two columns. Instead of using a slice for the column subset, we could accomplish the same thing with an index array like this. On the surface, these techniques seem to produce the same result, but there's a subtle and really important difference. Ward is actually a view of the squid array, whereas sponge is a copy of the squid array. Well, at least the portion we subsetted. You can see this a couple different ways. If I set the first element of sponge to 100, obviously sponge gets modified, but squid and ward stay the same, as you'd expect. But if I set the first element of ward to 100, not only does it modify ward, but it also changes squid. This can lead to some nasty, undetected bugs if you're not careful. Another way you can see this is if you look at the memory address of the beginning of each array. So for example, if you do squid dot underscore underscore array underscore interface underscore underscore, and then the same thing for ward and sponge, You can see where squid and ward have the same memory address, unlike sponge. But that memory address points to the beginning of each array. So this method only identifies a view if it includes the first element of the original array. A better technique is to use NumPy's shares memory function, which is specifically designed to tell if two arrays have overlapping memory. Here you can see it in action. In general, when you subset an array using nothing but slices, you're going to get back a view of the original array. You can force NumPy to copy the data by appending .copy to the end of your statement, like this. And when you subset an array using at least one index array, NumPy will automatically copy the data so you don't have to worry about overriding the original array.